Okay, you're back in Dave's train room. Uh, I have the uh, surround tracks by uh, Soundtracks uh, installed on a layout, and uh, I've been able to enjoy it with all my digital locomotives, but this will be a first run being able to run it with my DC locomotives. Okay, the uh, train on, on the uh, left is uh, Cato F7s in a Great Northern Scheme. Uh, these are DC. They do not have decoders installed. And what I'm doing is I have a, uh, a G-scale 5 amp decoder installed under layout and I'm using the motor drive as the uh, uh, DC output. Uh, I have programmed the uh, DCC uh, decoder to 99 for the inside line. Now I have the inside and outside isolated uh, so I'm able to run DC on one line and DCC on the other and uh, in whatever configuration I have it on. Uh, both of them happens to be that I have uh, DC on both sides. Uh, the inside again is 99 and the outside is uh, address 98. Uh, I have two separate decoders mounted. Now what I've done is, is uh, the surround tracks reacts in a digital environment. So to our advantage, uh, since we're using a digital decoder to run the DC side, I'm able to uh, program my surround tracks to the uh, uh, to the address uh, that uh, is on that's controlling the line, which uh, again in this case is number 99 on the inside. So we're going to start it up, and uh, uh, just to tell you, I'll show you the configuration after uh, after I get the run all done, uh, and let you get the feel of what the system sounds like, uh, and uh, that these the, the sound is coming from N scale that uh, you can never get in the little speakers that you have to install on them. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get started. set of uh, Bose computer speakers. Uh, they have a built-in amplifier along with a subwoofer uh, to really enhance the sound of the surround tracks. So as we uh, see the locomotive go by and they come back around and we hear it slow down, it's just as spectacular.
Okay, that was pretty much awesome. Okay, I'm going to pause it just for a sec. I'll get you under the layout and show you the setup. Okay, this is the setup. Uh, we have two boosters, which uh, shortly I'm going to have a third one, and the third one is going to be running uh, my switches and accessories and stuff like that. But this is the guy, little guy right here that is doing all the sound magic, which is this one right here. Uh, that is the surround tracks. Uh, that is done by uh, 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 Soundtracks, the guys who make all the really cool uh, sound decoders. Uh, but uh, many, uh, and I say many, uh, quite a few years ago, they uh, decided to make this system, which was, I think, in my opinion, the most awesome thing in the world. Uh, but uh, to their, uh, uh, well, I imagine I'm just speculating, but uh, uh, basically if you have this system, you won't have to buy any decoders, uh, sound decoders anyway. Uh, what's making all the uh, awesome sound, which that little sound generator puts out line level sound, uh, I'm running uh, these little Bose speakers, which these are uh, a speaker system made by Bose for computers. There's the other one. And then where all that awesome bass is coming from is the subwoofer. And that little guy there makes some awesome sound, and if you can just hear it, uh, Everything really has a rumble to it when you're sitting in the room with it. And then the sound control uh, is this little guy right here, and it's just a little uh, uh, manual volume knob, which uh, gives you the ability to turn it down without having to mess with the system. Uh, but basically the way it works is, is uh, you program the sound generator to the address of your locomotives, and it'll hold quite a few of them. I mean, you can have your whole inventory basically put inside of it. Uh, and uh, just for this uh, little uh, process, I uh, entered in uh, number 99, and number 99, if you can see here, uh, number 99 is what runs my uh, inside line, and that's where my uh, 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 Great Northern locomotives were sitting. Okay, and when we're talking about the decoders, if the light will let me see it, there are the decoders. Uh, the decoder on the left is done on the inside line and the decoder on the right is done on the outside line. Uh, these are 5 amp decoders uh, so basically I can run three or four engines gang together and like you noticed in the video I have three uh, which uh, barely runs these uh, even close to their top end so they run fairly cool. Uh, so this is how the system works. Uh, now basically every single one of those locomotives on the line are powered. Uh, they're acting just as if I was using a regular DC uh, a DC transformer. Uh, what the difference is is that uh, instead of my hand turning a knob, I'm using a digital controller to tell the decoder what uh, voltage I want it to put out, and that subsequently decides how fast the locomotive is running. Uh, but the nice thing about it is I can take advantage of the speed control of the uh, decoders, which meaning if uh, the decoders is uh, uh, sensing a speed up or a slowdown on the hills in my layout, it actually compensates it so it keeps it all at one speed, which is really, really cool for a DC locomotive. And also now with the addition of sound. Uh, since I'm actually using Address 99, the uh, surround tracks doesn't have any idea that they're actually DC locomotives. They just think I'm running engine number 99, uh, which I pro have it programmed with the uh, prime mover for a, uh, a diesel F7. Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool the way it's set up. Uh, with this system now, I don't have to hurry and rush to get uh, uh, decoders installed in the locomotives because, uh, for one, these are really early generation uh, locomotives are kind of hard to get uh, decoders in. Uh, so with that said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got any questions, just leave it down in the comments under, under my uh, YouTube channel and uh, I'll surely try to answer them. Alright, in the meantime, you all have fun. Keep the trains running.